The nuts on tour Rolling in the motor home Moving town to town Never feel alone There we are, we're having a change round this time. <laughs> yes, sat on that side. Big change, big change. Big change. Good morning, I'm Sue. Good morning, I'm Mark. And we are together, nuts on, on tour. tour. Right, we'll start that again, because that didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, I'm Sue. Good morning, I'm Mark. And together we are Nuts, Nuts on, on Tour. Tour. Welcome to this edition. This is another, hello big duck. This is another in the Van Other Collective Collaboration series of videos. We are a group of like-minded travellers. We, uh, we have motorhomes, caravans, tents, campers, you name it. But we all enjoy going out and making these videos. So the, f the theme for this month's video is gadgets. gadgets. Now, for those of you who know me, I am a bit of a gadget fiend. Mm -hmm. so, so is Lady Nod. She has a fair share too. Yeah, mine tend to be big. <laughs> big gadgets. Then I, I'm not sure I'd call them gadgets, but hey ho. Right. <laughs> so there was no limit on this one we weren't told three gadgets or four gadgets or list of top 10 so uh me being a me being a gadget fiend you've got rather a lot so uh i've split it down i've made notes split it down into different sections so we're doing the top three in each section so gadgets on the coach so number one self-leveling when we bought the coach we had our needs list and the top three were all things that were going to be attached to the coach number one self-leveling i don't like getting out when it's slabbing it down with rain and putting chocks under and trying to get them just right and no not my thing so self-leveling absolute must number two air suspension hello i'm gonna get walked on now hello poppet you're coming for a cuddle hello got being on the vid hmm. air suspension the idea that we can raise and lower the van up to level it up and to tilt it over to empty the tanks to lift the bum up when we go over big bumps or speed bumps or anything like that very very good number three uh, Air ride seats. Hello, pop. You've got to be in on the edge. You've got to be in on the edge. I have to see what's going Let's on. See what we're doing, Dad. Uh, driving anything over an hour or so, it just makes it so comfy, so easy to do. So that's our three for attached to the coach. Next, safety. Are oh, you going to get down? Because you're digging your nails in. The coater. <laughs> I know you want fuss. Fuss pot. I'll right be back. so safety number one carbon monoxide and smoke detectors now you can get them combined which is why i said them together we've actually got separate ones number two now oh demonstration is number two right all the things that we have have all been bought by us None of these have been supplied or given us or anything like that. Fire stick. Fire extinguisher. Now, lots of people will say, oh, fire extinguisher is quite heavy. I don't know if there's actually a weight on this one. It's 500 mil of fire extinguisher. You can use this on all fires, electrical and or otherwise. Little gauge. This doesn't have a date on it. It has a pressure. So as long as it's inside the pressure rating, good to go. Dry powder ones. Don't like dry powder. Uh, I'm a trained firefighter and dry powder will make an awful mess. And what a lot of people don't realise is dry powder, once you've sprayed it, it will then attack your wiring and degrade the plastic coating or rubber coating around your wiring. So if you do have to use one, 
and you use it anywhere near your wiring you'll probably end up having a rewire afterwards mm, that's not so good is it <laughs> these things very good fire stick they're available online but also at most of the shows right. number three gas detector these i won't say pennies but they're a few pounds they're not like hundreds and hundreds of pounds but if you go into your gas locker and you smell gas uh, what, you can do the old soapy water trick or try and find these things very very useful go in beep yeah you've got gas start checking for your leak not expensive very very useful number four right for this one this was actually a christmas present from my good lady comes in a nice little case and there's six of them if you ever break down especially on the continent i think these are required and at night right but i will get it to there you go you put them out you stick them on the, they're all magnetic on the back they have little hangers on them so you can hang them up or you can just lay them in the road, road. and if yeah. you lay those you can see that flashing away even though it's daylight yeah there's six in a pack lay those out along the road right and people can see you rather than just have a little triangular coin i wasn't sure if there was what different yes there's there's different yeah there is different different flash that's the one there you go that's the one that you tend would probably see on the side of the road yeah <laughs> there's different flash uh sequences yeah yeah uh yeah that's another one oh solid solid i think like sue said the one that goes round and round and round is the best one i will put that one back at the end so we know where it is mm -hmm. that one. <laughs> can't get it in there but yes they come right. in their own little bag mm -hmm. and, uh, they do fit because they, they, ca they came A's? out of there uh either double a's or treble a's i can't remember which that's why it's stuck behind the zip there you go so six little lights in a little bag very very handy the next section is gadgets that we have in genesis or some of them and number one my favorite item i've got to hoover i'd rather do it with this in in genesis is the ryobi battery powered hoover it's, it's strong it certainly does the job a bit noisy but hey ho that's that's life chase the dogs with it don't think any don't think any hoovers are quiet these days but yes my favorite thing especially when the carpets are down or even on just on a hard floor brilliant number two insert little video here we have the dog guard this is what we did for our dog guard this is actually a baby gate and it's called a baby dan baby dan baby gate but what we liked about it they're all individual sections so to release push down and slide and it just falls back out the way but once it's locked in you can put the put more plates in as you can see that one's got three that one's got five that one's got four put them in so it fits exactly to the size of your door so it doesn't matter we kept the other bit so it doesn't matter if we change vans and we get one with a bigger door or a smaller door we can still make it fit thought that was a good idea number three battery packs slash power stations we we call ours the blue etty blue etty power, yes power oak. power oak the blue etty power oak we've had that at least 10 years it's been in four caravans and this motorhome to my knowledge that i can remember yes yeah it's been well used it's only two only it's 2400 watts 
watt hours. We yeah. use it actually. 240 I use it amp hours. The, I use it in the car as well to run the fans yeah. on the dog crate. Run the fans on the dog crate, yeah. 240 roughly amp hours. Oh, so the equivalent of the two batteries we've got in the boot in this thing or in the garage, all right? But it's only a thousand. It's only a thousand watts, so it won't run my coffee maker, <laughs> which is <coughs> one of the reasons we got the EcoFlow Delta Pro power station. One of them. <laughs> the big one on wheels. That's yeah. That's three thousand. Just move leg. Yeah, three thousand six hundred watt hours. It's heavy. 45 kilos. It's a big babe. We've just been away for 11 days and between the two of them and the two in the back, no problems. We ran everything, coffee machine included. Yes. <laughs> and didn't have any problems at all. Next one, cooking. cooking. Well, cooking. Over to Lady Nut. So, number one. Now, we got these. I, sp I spotted these when we were looking at using our Mark's Air Miles. And I thought, yes, good, because, you know, you need something in the bus. Now, these are scales. And basically, they come out like so. You've got the little feet on the bottom that you then sit it down. And there's the actual bit here that tells you the weight, etc. Now, the great thing is with these, that is the full size of it. And then when you want to wrap it up and put it away in the cupboard, that's it. There is no great big scales taking up valuable space. It's quite can... heavy. Well, I say heavy. I mean, it is. You can know you've got it. But the fact is, I just love the fact that it, it folds up to virtually... If you weigh anything, less than a tin opener. Yeah. If you weigh anything, you you need a bowl. So you've already got your pan, your bowl, or all that. Yeah. You put it on, tear it to zero, then and add your bingo. ingredients, and it weighs it. Yeah. Brilliant. Excellent little thing. It is. Number two. Number two, the blend jet. The blend jet is basically we use this to make. Uh, we make smoothies with smoothies. it, but you, you, it can do so much more. We we like like fresh bananas and fresh fruit and stuff like that. Bit of milk or juice, top it up, press it, go and give it a press, it is set. I don't know if it'll, well, I know there's nothing in it, but this has got like a slidey, a slidey lid on it for, you know. Depends which model you get. Some you can, you have to unscrew the top yeah. to take a drink. This one's got a little slide. Like I say, as you can see inside, it's got the blade. And then you can use it for go. making salsa, guacamole, yeah. sauces, pestos, batter for your waffles and your pancakes, all sorts of stuff. What it's called? And it's a blender. Graduated <laughs> on the side. Yeah. It, there's none of this. I, I'm a. I have left the top open on this because I'm not. I am. I am not perfect. <laughs> no, I see. I always when I when they're washed. And put away i always leave it the top open so it, it airs but somebody didn't shut didn't, it no <laughs> mind no. you that was indoors and not in here which yeah. was fortunate we have another one in the house <laughs> could have been a bit messy in here so number three mr nuttles one of his other favorite items before we got the big power oh EcoFlow Delta Pro. One of them. My Bluetti, our Bluetti, wouldn't actually run the coffee machine, so we got this. It is a 12 volt powered coffee machine. So you get your little espresso cup. Water goes in the top. Coffee, either pods or fresh coffee and it's the in this, the bottom you can do and all pods this can't will you? do yeah this will do dolce gusto pods dolce gusto pods nespresso, nespresso pods, pods or actual coffee. coffee yeah brilliant and this it comes with there you go spare Com, comes with two cups 
takes about yeah it says eight to ten minutes but i think it's nearer 10 to 12 but that's just me mm -hmm. and then you get the adapter so you can fit the nest nest espresso pods and i've got a couple of pods in there just for emergency use <laughs> only just in case but uh, yeah another very for me very very necessary uh, useful useful, useful. Necessary, necessary gadget necessary <laughs> we then have the usual that everybody's got which is the for the, for the kitchen ones for the we, kitchen yeah everyone does air fryer induction hob and ridge monkey yeah we've got those as we, well we've got all three yes we use all three uh like i said with the power pro delta delta pro yeah, yeah. one of them <laughs> yeah uh we can run the induction hob and put everything on it one point worth noting ridge monkey doesn't work on the induction ridge monkey's got to it's be on not. gas it's it's not iron it's not steel so it doesn't work that mm -hmm. way yeah we cha i changed all the pans for the heavy duty ones to work on the next section is my domain the driving bit sue does drive but i do the bulk of it number one absolutely dash cams one of the subscribers that we follow or one of the people we're subscribed to has just had a head on collision in their motorhome not him, their fault him and his wife driving along the road white van man on the wrong side of the road straight at him head on it took well, them an hour to cut him out, to cut him out. they were very very lucky to survive that luckily he did take well the gentleman driving the motorhome did take evasive action so i think yeah, he, he caught him side on then didn't he yeah he, he sort of wasn't true head on he sort of tried to get out of the way but he, there was a grass verge and that at the side so he couldn't get far so it actually hit him more on the corner which is why he had to get cut out but his uh, his wife escaped she, Not, got away with uh, she got away quite look well they both did they're both alive and kicking so yeah, yeah. <laughs> dash cams they've the police have taken the dash cam footage right and they're going to prosecute the driver of the white van so definitely cameras number two hmm. now on the coach i'll put a little vid in it's easier on the coach we have the steering wheel i'm six foot two so trying to duck underneath to see what is actually on the engine management system and the controls i can see it but it means bending down and taking my eyes off the road so i've got as i'm sat in the driving seat the engine management system is actually behind the steering wheel so we've had installed that so that gives you all the blurb that you need your miles per hour your time your volts gps distance traveled time all that good stuff lovely wasn't expensive but uh, it saves me having to take my eyes off the road and look down at and just literally look down to the top of the dash oh ocd od i've got ocd yeah odc or what <laughs> yeah i can't remember what letters are sorry i have no idea but a repeater say, station so literally instead of going from eyes on the road to what's under there literally it's on the dash yeah it's the Video position you have the steering wheel in that stops you seeing isn't it but then actually not being funny this dash so that was a comment that was made while we were away this this particular dash in this particular vehicle or this age the dash is so low it is low you can't physically see it you know when you're yeah. driving especially if you're six foot something yeah and number three another video tire pal i've had two tires blow out on me on different vehicles and it's frightening it really is uh one of them i was doing 50 mile an hour along a dual carriageway the tire went and luckily there was nothing i just just getting ready to overtake something so luckily i was able to pull straight over and into the into the recovery lane into the hard shoulder but uh yeah 
Tyapal, we have, when we've got Monty on the back, five axles, ten wheels. We have sensors on each of the ten wheels and we can tell the pressure and the temperature in each wheel. If the pressure goes down, the pressure goes up, the temperature goes up suddenly, yes, we can monitor it all. Very, very useful. And that's the Tyapal unit. So you can see the three axles on the bus and the two axles for tyres on Monte. So when we're actually rolling, we sat at the moment, but when we're actually rolling, the centrifugal force of the wheel going round makes the contact and they work. And the rest of the time when we stood, it doesn't. But looking up there, you get your temperature and your pressure. Very nice. <laughs> Next ah. section. Dogs. Doggies. Our two favourite doggies. Now, the... Number one. <laughs> when we are driving, <laughs> it's empty at the moment. Sorry, little girl. Yes, she saw me pick it up. Doggies will want to drink while we're travelling just because doggies like drinkies. So this, I don't know if you can see that, this has a little float. Yeah, so to get water, they press it down, lick the water, let go, and it has the little rim round it. So they can have a drink down, and it do, if we go around the corner or anything, it's it an doesn't slosh everywhere. Anti-spill water bowl. Very useful. It is. Anti-spill. Number two. Yes, harnesses with trackers. They have to be harnessed up, obviously. For travelling. <coughs> Here is... One lead. Here is one lead attached to seat belt. The other so ones... they can't get anywhere. The other one's down the bottom of the table. Yeah, but they also have trackers fitted to their harnesses. So uh, there is a subscription for the trackers. They're not free. But uh, if ever they got out or got off, use the app on the phone to track where they are. Hello, big dog. <laughs> Number three. Dog guard. Video already already been in. You've said this is luxury items. Yeah, sort of sort of luxury items. Items that you've already like. Number one for us is the twelve volt fridge freezer. We've got a fridge freezer in the motorhome, mm. but it only runs on either gas or electric. Or you mean electric? So, being as it's two forty and compressor, yeah, it will only last even with both power packs about a day mm -hmm. mm. Hmm. so we've got a 12 volt fridge freezer in the garage video coming up there's the 12 volt fridge freezer so uh, 55 liters and you can have it set up so that it's either all fridge all freezer or one half fridge and one half freezer little chopping board in the lid, a dog barking and a little light. It's not actually plugged in at the moment. But uh, yeah, you can also sit on it and use it as a table, hence the cup rings and the plate on the top. Number two. EcoFlow Solar Tracker. Hmm. It worked brilliant. This we only, we've only just had that about a month now, but it worked brilliantly. And when we're at home, rather than plug every you know, plug everything into the power at home, I just put the solar panel out, leave the eco solar eco flow solar tracker switched on, and it just pans and tilts its way around and gets us the Back best possible. Speed. I, yesterday it wasn't particularly bright sunshine, but we were doing between 280 and 350 watts. And it's charged up again, good to go. Sue's going to hoover up in a bit. As soon as she's done that, I'll plug it back in again, put the uh, panel out and carry on. Well, yeah. Now, you, I mean, I know number three is a... Right. Is a good. nice pair of binoculars. Now, we've got a pair of zoom binoculars. These aren't for spying on, <laughs> on your <the> neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> where we were at our last, where we were uh, before we went to Newark, just in the field opposite, there was a tree and 
later on at night, a couple of baby deer came in, a couple of the fawns came in, stood on the back legs, trying to nibble the new shoots off the tree. Mm. Absolutely brilliant to watch them. And the barn owl. And we had a barn owl that was out hunting. Again, we spent a good 20 minutes, yeah. half an hour watching him as well. Or her. There's another site we sometimes go to, which is down... Um, not far from Thetford, actually, and that's you. You get all Lake and Heath and Mildon Hall flying over, so sometimes it's a bit interesting to see see them. So yes, a pair of binoculars. Yeah. Now we've done quite a big list here, but there is extras. <laughs> Number one, rechargeable lights. We use these a lot when we're off grid in the bedroom. Instead of putting the great big light on and waking everybody up, including the two brown things, <laughs> we have this on the side, and literally you can put that on more at night, more than enough light to read, to to read, or to get out of bed to nip to the toilet. Mm -hmm. Works well, and it's on a it clips on USB C it. rechargeable, and if you're so feeling desired, you could sit. And <laughs> yeah. Sit and read. Mm. Useful. Also, I have stolen this in the past to go breviging under things and in engine compartments. Yeah. And yes, so <laughs> useful in many ways. Number two. Wacky tackies. Wacky tacky. I have noticed when people hook up their towed cars. Or even or caravans. Even, <laughs> or, or even caravans. Or even just go out. Not everybody checks their lights, brakes, connections and all that lot. These, for us, are invaluable. When Sue's 13 metres away at the back of the truck... I... Yeah, doesn't always get my hand signals. She doesn't do British Sign Language, she does <laughs> Sue's Sign Language. And believe me, I've been married 25 years and I can't work it out. Some of them, I know, I know what a couple of them mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not yes. repeatable. They're not repeatable on top. Yes. If you're backing easy. into somewhere, one in there, one in... We actually had to back into our space. I gave the uh, steward one of them. He said, what a brilliant idea. I said, here you are. Tell us when to stop. And he's just... He's... Yeah, that'll do about another foot. Yeah, that's good there. You're not under a tree, blah, blah, blah. Passed it as back, walked off. Brilliant. They yeah. work. Yeah, they're good. I mean, we use them for, like I say, doing light checks. Cheapest chips. You know. I think they were about 20 quid. Yeah, they, these are. about 1995 the or something. They only work. I mean, we have used them between different motorhomes, but they only work about. 100 yards. <laughs> well, no, it's probably supposed to be half a mile, I think, but I think that's a bit debatable. Yeah. You know, as long as they were right behind us, we could hear each other. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we've tried them before. We've had them with the caravan, didn't mm. we? Yeah. For doing Number light checks. Sorry. Number three, CB radio. I shall put a little video in just to show you what we do with that. And that's my CB rig. Uh, got a microphone that you can go... You can select your channels so you don't have to keep looking down. You can just click up and down on there, which is quite handy. It's set on that side so that either of us can grab it. And this also works in Europe, this one. So uh, also handy. Lastly, it's not on the list. It's not a luxury item for my good lady wife. It's essential. <laughs> the stool the stool <laughs> for us mere short people people of diminutive of stature, stature yeah, to see in the oven i need to stand on that because our oven is up there <laughs> i shall i shall put photo in of said lady said lady stood on the stool trying to yeah i mean I, I can it's actually... eye level for me sort of here for me <clears throat> yes yeah, so I have to I have to get the stool out, and also to be honest with you, to get into the back of some of the cupboards, I do need the stool as well. Yeah, just well, to make it a bit more comfortable with that. To, to be honest, reaching over things. Yeah, to be honest, the ones that are above the table, 
yeah i can i can push the table all the way across and i can just reach to the back yeah I so if I sue's reaching the over the table no it's not no. happening no I, I i use the stool sometimes but more often than not, i'll stand on the seat <gasps> well that's our list of 20 odd <coughs> yeah <laughs> yeah uh, by no means comprehensive like i said all the thoughts expressed in this are ours none of this has been given to us we bought all of this mm. we're not at that stage where people want to send us things to review mm. or anything like that so uh, this is all stuff that we've bought <laughs> and used we don't get bicycles or power packs and things like that not don't that we any. need them don't get anything we've got our own bikes i want to say we <laughs> bought our bikes quite a while ago mm -hmm. but uh yeah the the list is not comprehensive uh what we what we tend to do is if we buy something and it doesn't work it doesn't stay <laughs> like everybody thank you like everybody we have weight limits and carrying other things like power packs and dogs and water containers and everything. yes mm -hmm. it all adds up I was going to say, I know one gadget we I was going to mention to you and I never got around to it. And that was the collapse waste hoses. Yes. They're, they're a good little light. Well, not I haven't, so haven't got those out, but yes. Uh, they're the, the ones that expand to a meter. Yeah. They you, When when they collapsed, together. they're... Yeah. Mm, less than half a meter. Yeah, less than half a meter. They, they slot together. One, one end's rubberized and one end's the hard plastic. Mm. So literally one end slots inside the end of the other one, the female end, the male end fits inside the female end, if that makes sense. And then you can extend them. I think we got two packs. Main reason being uh, where we are at home, we can empty our gray tank into our sewage line. Yeah. So to do that, we need about I haven't been metrificated yet so about 12 to 15 foot of whatever that is in metric of hose now you carry the big two inch black spot yeah and fight with the anaconda yeah, but and, you've and actually got to find somewhere to store that as well yeah. haven't you? where these things they, they they shrink down they go in a bag they take up little or no space and you've not got the as you say the black anaconda taking up valuable space right don't forget this is part of the collaboration